Hello, this is Stephanie, and I'm interviewing J.D. Simone from Death by Chaos today. Well, we're not really doing a formal interview. We're just kind of doing a music chat, and I'm going to be doing a yeah. series of these. Hi, J.D. <laughs> thanks, hey. Thanks for being my guinea pig today. Thanks so much for having me, Stephanie. How are you doing? This is, I'm doing good. I've, I've been on lockdown now for, I don't know, over a month. Um, yeah i'm a student at hancock and so our, our my school our classes are all been online now for a month and so you know like everyone else we're doing this lockdown thing and um we're just making the best of it M my house is um i'm already a super clean guy already but my house is you know anally clean now and yeah. it couldn't be any cleaner i'm sure um i'm sure the queen elizabeth can come here and eat you know off my plate to be okay and um with my dining and my silverware. Um, I'm doing good, I'm, I'm just uh, focusing on Death by Chaos now. I've been out of dog band for a few months now. I left them a while back. And uh, just to focus on my thing, my band, Death by Chaos. And um, it's doing good. I built a studio in my garage uh, last year and, and uh, it, it's been a work in progress, it still is. And so it's, a, it's a, quite a job. And so uh, we've been working on that, but with this quarantine thing, I've had all the time in the world to take care of a lot of stuff here at the, at the, at the pad at home. And so I've just been diligently working away like a squirrel, like my little squirrel buddies, you know? Yeah. yeah well, yeah, I was going to say, I was gonna, about the cleaning issue. <laughs> I noticed that when you, so I know you like to cook. So I noticed that when you do your cooking posts on Facebook, that your stove is meticulously clean. So I, I get that you must be a clean guy because I noticed that like my stove's always dirty because you know the kids are making stuff, it's boiling over and you know it's well very you, you have a you, <laughs> right, you you have a family. You have a family. Yeah. And so your and so your stove being dirty is <laughs> is understandable. I live alone. I, yeah. there's no one here, but I have my self to be accounted for. So <laughs> yeah, I can't stand dirty. There's no piles in my home. There's no, there's nothing. I'm, I'm a really, I'm a middle, I'm a minim, minimalist kind of yeah. a person actually. And so, um, yeah, I don't like dirt. I'm not a dirty guy. I'm super clean. And, um, so Simone, yeah, is that, care. is that, what, what nationality is that? Italian. Okay. So I was going to say, you don't always have a, a, like a container, like a big pot of like bubbling sauce on your, <laughs> your stove making it dirty <laughs> i used to i used to you'd come up you'd come over there there have been people who will testify that every time they came to my house I there, know, was some, yeah, there was something there was something there was something going on look i'll tell you what i got going on today actually this is what we're making in a little while all right lentils yeah i've never made lentils you're gonna have to teach oh. me how to to make oh. lentils <laughs> Oh my God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, some, no. some vegetables. Uh -huh. Oh man, let it sit, let it simmer for a while with some veggies. Uh -huh. You're you're in business, right. really. It's well, I do stuff. know and how to make a good spaghetti sauce because my grandmother was Italian, so I can make good good meat sauce. But um, so you're cooking lentils. What are you gonna have with your lentils tonight? Uh, lo vegetables. Okay. That's uh, celery, carrot, onion, garlic. Oh yeah, be and so throw in some beans with the lentils as well. Uh, of course, of course, a bunch of spices. Uh, All right. Basically, we're basically just making soup. We're gonna make a big pot of soup, you know, and mm -hmm. well, get good. us get us through that's this healthy. quarantine. I, I love I love soup. I make soup all the time. Um, behind me in the corner there. Uh, well, you can't see it because it's behind the blender and the toaster mm -hmm. and next to the whey protein. But uh, I have a crock pot and I use it often. Right. Besides all the besides all the cooking and the barbecuing, um, I have a crock pot and I do that as well. I do love to cook. You've probably noticed um, yeah. I have quite a few yeah. food things out there. And, and, you know, I actually, I love to cook. I enjoy it. And, um, and what's, what's better than after you're done cooking something really great, you get to eat it. So right. uh, it goes hand so, in hand with me. Um, cooking is kind of like, in a way, like songwriting, right? Different ingredients going in. And so <laughs> that let's, let's bring that agree, in. I would, let's, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree yeah. 100% with that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because so, once you know how to make something, once you know how to make something, and then next time you make it, you're thinking, okay, well, what if I do this? And what if I do that? Right. And so you're continually, at least I am, I'm continually on, on a, a search for to make it a little better than last time. 
So Dogmane, um, <laughs> last time I saw Dogmane play, I noticed that you weren't there and I was like, what? <laughs> And um, so everybody, I think the last show that Dog Bane played, or at least I saw them play at, was um, at uh, Rhiannon's anti-Valentine's Day show, that Burger Revolution show. And it was a lot of fun, but uh, I think everybody missed you. And so um, now that you're um, focusing on Death by Chaos, um, how has like this whole, uh, you know, home isolation thing affected that? And were you building this home studio so you guys could all jam there or... You know, do you, um, do you have, like, were you having plans that have been interrupted or were you just kind of in the starting process of getting that going? Uh, as far as dog band goes, yeah, I was with them for about five years mm -hmm. and um, it was just time to move on. Um, yeah. I, I, I just, I found, I found uh, at some point there was no more growth in that band. And so I had to, and, and I was really doing myself a disservice because I put my own band, Death by Chaos, on a back burner kind of. Right. And that, that became indefinite. And so um, I decided it was time to move on from that group and, and focus on, on my thing. And uh, as far as the studio goes, yeah, it's right here at my house. It's, I converted my garage to a studio, but I can still pull my car in and work on it. So it's a studio oh, awesome. slash garage slash workroom. <laughs> it's, it's an all in one. Well, we'll have to ask you some advice when we do that in our garage. Right now, we need to get the rats out of there first. Well, well, I noticed, I noticed you like you like Miss Stephanie. You, you, you use the QSCs, which that's what I use. I use the K12s. Yeah. And uh, and, a, and a K sub under the drum riser and um, and a and a Presonus mixer, and it's just uh, it's just you sound like you, you think you're you think you're on the main stage at Ozfest. It sounds so good. It's ridiculously well. You know, you use the well, you have, you, yourself. have you soundproofed it? I mean, how, how, are your, what are your name, <laughs> your neighbors, you know, what, what's the idea? So is it like just a jam studio or do you, do you plan on recording it on it in it or? Uh, it's, it's, it's all in one. It's going to yeah. be able to have uh, rehearsals mm -hmm. for both my band and any other band that wants to rehearse and, right. to, and we'll be able to record. Somebody wants to make a record or just cut a demo or cut a track. We can do that. And we're also at some point going to have uh, video cameras up to be able to record video as well. Wonderful. So, um, right. Yeah, but you know, all this all this stuff is really expensive and I'm really poor. So there's that big imbalance. So yeah. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a slow going process. You mean so, that um, stimulus check is not going to build you a music studio and pay your rent and buy all your lentils, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's, feed your squirrel. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like, there's not enough to feed my squirrel. And so I've, I've wrote the governor, I've written the governor, and we'll see what happens. So I don't know. Uh, we'll get back to the studio in a second. But so does everyone know about your squirrel? I don't know if, if uh, everyone knows about your, your pet. <laughs> no, 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 not everyone. Um, a, a couple of times before, before this whole thing, before this whole quarantine thing happened, um, while at school, I'm a student at Hancock. And while, while in class, um, uh, one day we got broken up into groups of three or four and and my group we had a home project mm -hmm. that we had to do and um i said okay well let's meet at my house and i'll, I'll cook for everybody too and it's okay so everybody came over and and so while we were here uh we they were sitting here at this my dining room table where i'm sitting now talking to you and i was back there behind me in the kitchen with my face turned mm -hmm. and somebody said hey a squirrel just came in your door and i said oh it's my buddy and i turned <laughs> around and the squirrel stood up on his hind legs and like with his hands up as if to say, hey, what have you got to eat? And so I gave him, I gave him a cracker. That's what they love. And um, he took the cracker and looked at them and ran out the door as if to say, thanks, I gotta go. I don't know who they are. I'm not gonna eat in front of them. But they were, they were amused and then they pulled out their phones and they took videos of it. So to answer your question, no, not everybody knows about it. Yeah. I've, post, I've posted some stuff on Facebook and so some people have seen it and commented, but no, not everyone knows. So I befriended a family of squirrels out in my backyard some time ago now actually it's been months and um and uh it, it took a long time to get them to come in and sit on my lap and let me hand feed them like i can do now oh, that's that, that, me. <laughs> yeah, they, at first at first if they see you they run away they don't want anything to do with you and it yeah. took a long time to get them to come closer and closer and closer and finally to feed them out of my hand right. and then to get them to come up into my lap that was that took a while so I'm guessing you don't maybe have any other pets or cats or anything, because our dogs chase the squirrels. It's like their sport. 
<laughs> and, our, and, our, and our squirrels out where we live are almost as big as our cats. So <laughs> they just love yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I've had some pit bulls and, uh, yeah. and, uh, and they're okay. They're okay with them. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah they, uh, <laughs> they're, they're a little domesticated. Uh -huh. You know, they're 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 the kind of pit bull that when somebody breaks in, they'll be like, "Yeah, the gold and silver is back in that room, and the guitars are out in the garage." So have you have at it? They're not All too right. helpful. So you're uh, Hancock. I know I had talked to you before about um, your interest in learning more about music theory. Are you? What are you studying at Hancock right now? Are you are you studying any of that, or is I, it something else? I am actually a music major. Yeah. Cool. Um, the goal the goal is to um, essentially one day get to go to Berkeley uh, University. But um, um, I've only just begun my, my music career in school. So mm -hmm. uh, a year ago. Um, so I'm in theory two and um, um, I've taken all kinds of music courses and classes, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, vocals, music appreciation, um, there's, uh, there's all kinds of music programs at the school. It's great. I'm going to wind up taking all of them. I can see that already. So, um, but yeah, right now music is our major. We're, we're currently in a, in a political science class and a couple other classes and um, college is going good. Now, of course, as I said earlier, everything is online because of this quarantine. So um, it's kind of okay. You know, I get to study at my own leisure, which I don't mind. So, you know, but we're doing the classes are virtual. So we're 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 discussing stuff with the teacher just like you and our well, you and I are right now in a live in a live video. So um, it's just like being there, only you're not. Yeah, that must be tough to study music in it uh, on the computer. I mean, I, I guess if it's theory, that's one thing. But if you're actually having to get instruction on an instrument, that would be a little bit trickier because everything's kind of backwards, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know what I mean? From, like when they're showing you here, it's like the opposite there on the other screen, you know, you don't no, find no, it. No, actually, no, no, actually, I've, I've, I've been fortunate and, and the school, the, um, uh, everything's been able to be, uh, the cameras have been, you know, converted correctly. So oh, you're really? Seeing, okay. So they converted correctly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we've been lucky with that. And, um, you know, the school was quick to recognize that. I think that happened at first. And so they said, oh, we got to change that. So they did. So Death by Chaos, is this your band that you've created? This is my band. Um, just as the name states, Death by Chaos, and it sounds real heavy metal, but it's not. It's just, it's really just rock and roll, but uh, right. um, with a heart, with a heart, it's got a hard edge to it, of course. So, um, but, uh, you know, Death by Chaos, I mean, that's life. What happens to us, man? We, we die, you know, you, we go through all this shit in life. And then we die eventually. So, you know, yeah, death by chaos. It's just, um, it's all consuming. It kind of means um, life at, life in a nutshell, you know, everything that's going on there. And so, um, and I try and I try and reflect my life and what's happening in my life in my music directly, because, um, you know, that's that song that you write, that's what you're leaving behind for people to remember you by and to, and to sing along to and all that. So you got to make it worth, uh, it's got to have some meaning. It's got to be worth something, you know? With the, with the theory classes and everything, here, I got a little bit of strange sound going on. Your ultimate goal is to become a better songwriter. Is that the ultimate goal? Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, or, or a better player, I, 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 just, I mean, or, or all the above. I mean, what? Um, no, with the purpose, the, for me, the purpose of going to school, I've already been playing guitar forever. So um, I want to be able to sight read really well. Right. Music itself to to, um, to read music. Right. It's not easy. It's 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 basically another language. And, and yeah, it is I know. another language. <laughs> yeah. And so it's challenging. Some people some people uh, 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 pick up on it really easy, and it kind right. of comes to them really naturally. And other folks like myself really struggle. It took me a long time to figure out the staff and just some right. basic stuff. But once that started, then it started to pick up. It started to increase. My learning started to increase more and more. But it is. Uh, it is challenging, and so I just to answer your question in short is just to be um, a, a proper musician. I mean, there's the garage guy who played by with his ears his whole life. That's yeah. how I am or was. So that's been and your then song. There's the guy, then there's the right. guy who can come in and look at the shit on paper and go, "Okay, C major over the fifth, fellas. One, two, three, four, and play." Right. Right. You know. So okay, well that's great. Uh, good for you that you're going out and trying to learn how to actually read music and. Hopefully one day when you get out there, you can hand you a sheet of music and say, you know, go ahead and do this and read it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because Communicate musicians, that language. 
Um, exactly. That's what I was just going to say. That yeah. there's, I've been, I've been in rooms with really good musicians who understand that language and they right. can talk. Da 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 da. da. In yeah. two seconds now, they're and now in two seconds they're both playing this freaking song. Perfect. Right. Yeah, I don't like that either. It's like when you when other people are communicating in this language and you're not understanding it. It's just. It's just a matter of putting the time into it to to learn it and you know it's um a lot of people kind of get lazy you know they get good when they play and they're like that's good enough for me and they just it's good enough for them but i mean i'm i'm just like you i want to learn as much as i can um and for yeah the rest, I, I always want to yeah. better myself if i can Absolutely. yeah especially i mean as a musician there's you can never stop improving and learning and you know so yeah. Never. Um, it's just like jujitsu. Even when you become a black belt, <laughs> there's still so much yeah. more to learn. I'm I'm really a jujitsu fanatic too. So. Oh really? Okay. So oh, yeah, your yeah. hobbies I'm are cooking, and what else besides that? Besides uh, taking in squirrels. Besides being the squirrel <laughs> definitely, whisperer. Definitely. Definitely you know, jujitsu. Then. <laughs> you could become. You could start making YouTube videos on your pet squirrel. You could probably, you know, be pretty famous for that. Well, hey, you know what? I just sent you right now. If you if you want to if you want to run it up on this, I just sent you on messenger a messenger a, vi a video a squirrel video from two days ago. Look what I got. Here it goes. It's about ten o'clock. Yeah. Eleven o'clock. Good boy. Oh, and we got a little squirrel. Good Come boy. here. We got oh, a little perfect. visitor. I guess I can. Yeah. Do you uh -huh. have a name for your the, the one that loves you the most? Ozzy. Oh, okay. Of course. Okay, <laughs> So, so look, he's gonna hear this noise. Yeah. Good boy. The crinkling of the salty. Get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. All right, it's my pal. So you play bass. What do you play? Anything else I besides do. bass? The stereo. <laughs> no, I, I don't, and I can't play guitar at all to save my life. I don't know how some right. guys can do it. Yeah. All those different, all those different chords that you got to hold, all those different notes, and then right. pluck them, and then change, and I, I don't get that at all. Man. So I don't you, get that at all. It's much you, easier. It's much easier for me just to go. Right. Much easier. Okay, so if you could play another instrument, what would you pick? Like, if you could learn another instrument. Um. I probably you, want to learn how to blow a horn. So you have a desire um, to, to that to do that. Yeah. No, I don't have a desire to do that. But, but if, if oh, I but, were to, but if to answer your question, if I were to, to want to play another instrument, um, I pro I really dig Miles Davis. I'm a, a huge jazz mm -hmm. jazz guy too. I love jazz, and so um, the trumpet. Miles Davis played the trumpet, and yeah. and, and the trumpet and uh, and the tenor sax are two instruments that man. You just li you just listen to like John Coltrane, man. Oh yeah. my God, mm -hmm. it's it's just incredible the the depth, the feeling that that instrument can can create when it's being played um, right. in representation of a mood. It's just too it's just too mind blowing. It's just too incredible. All right, well that's good to know. Okay, so let's see your music history. So I was watching a little bit of you just did an interview. I think what is it called, the Musicians Lounge. Just yeah, like a visitor. few days ago. Oh, there he is. Is that Ozzy? <laughs> yeah, we got a little visitor here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this here. I'm going to get his attention. <laughs> and uh, I'm holding my computer because he's going to pop his little head in right. in just a second we'll, and grab we'll, this. We're uh, waiting. <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, what was your question? <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, I'll just, I'll go like this. I'll just, I'll go this way. Oh, that's fine. That's why this is music chat. It's not a formal interview. Okay, can you see, can you see oh, that? Um, per perfect, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'll just sit here, we'll just chat and you can watch the floor. He'll come in eventually. All right, so the question is, um, basically, uh, well, let me, what was the question? Oh, you just got, you just did an interview like just a couple days ago. Oh, a joke, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I didn't even know that channel exists. It's cool that it does. 
So that's that's awesome. Um, the, the Musicians' Lounge. Yeah, yeah Joe Vera, yeah. the Musicians' Lounge. Yeah. So guys, you should uh, check that out if you're watching. Um, I don't have. Joe, Joe, Joe's a, Joe's a guitar player. He play. He, he has his own band, Fist of Fear. I played for him and his band. Okay. And, uh, he's a he's a re he's a really good songwriter and a great guitar player, man. He's local, right? He's. Yeah, he's right yeah. here in Orcutt. Right. Okay. So check him out and then let's see here um so you know a lot of musicians right now artists everything's kind of come to a halt um with the lockdown and i know a lot of people have been doing stuff online do you have any desire to do like show off your chops online i've seen some people playing i like your slippers <laughs> i've seen some people um I almost okay so I put on jeans but since I was just gonna be dressed from up here I, you know this is how I film most of my YouTube videos like I'll just put a nice top on and put makeup on and underneath I'm wearing sweats or shorts or something comfy something stretchy you know right we're at home, we're at home man <laughs> shit we might yeah. as well be comfortable man no one knows you know yeah. but uh, <laughs> but yeah I mean um have you had any desire to just put on some music and jam to it to kind of get out to the to the the universe out there because that's a good thing about internet and being a musician you can just kind of get it out to everyone um uh, and maybe I, I, and maybe find some people that are interested in jamming with you or you know <laughs> i i actually have a, a virtual jam in the works that uh if if completed if done correctly we're, we're gonna go live with it um Mm -hmm. so, but but that's with a group thing but i i personally i don't i'm not a i'm not a soloist kind of a bass right. player at least i don't consider myself to yeah. be one some people have some some people have said wow man you really play you know like solo style bass but i i don't think i do so i don't i don't i don't foresee myself just posting uh just videos of me kind of playing i don't um that's not really my thing but uh yeah. but again i am uh, i i do have something in the works with a group to where we're all going to be four different places on uh in the country uh and we're going to play a song together live on uh facebook so um, that's really at cool. least that's the plan yeah that's great well let us know yeah you know. um i i, I absolutely i absolutely will and, and uh and you can uh you can you can be part of it as well and um of course share it on your page and yeah. uh and maybe use it in your own in your in what you're doing here. By the way, uh, since we're talking live, I'm really digging your afternoon um, your afternoon music hour. It's really cool. I'm loving watching your videos. I watch them in their entirety. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's fun to do. And, yeah. Um, well, you plus you plus you always play a great set list of music, man. Yeah. Talk. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I've been doing some on Mixcloud too, and you know um, that's another good avenue besides soundcloud to get your if you if you're writing songs or whatever when with bands to get your music hey, you, you got you got you got me you got me thinking about something which i want to apologize for the other day i realized i posted um you posted a thing that said oh who do you want to hear one hit wonder yeah and so and somehow the one hit wonder went over my head because i immediately thought of audio <laughs> i want to hear i audio know slaves. well i looked that up and i'm like wait a minute they're not a one hit wonder <laughs> <laughs> no, they got a lot of. I realized yeah, that yeah, like yeah, the yeah. day after I sent it, I was like, "Oh, that was a mistake." So that. Oh, that's bad. okay. Well, I try and do my research to be accurate if I can. <laughs> you know, you know what's know. funny? There's a there's a movie. Have you seen the Tom Hanks movie? That thing you do? No, I have not. Oh my God! It's about this. It's a real true story. You got to watch. It's called That Thing You Do by Tom, right. it stars Tom Hanks. It's about. Okay. It's about a band from um, in the early 60s, mm -hmm. you know, like when they wore suits, you know? And, um, yeah. um, 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 uh, it was, it's about a band from like Ohio or Indiana or somewhere mm -hmm. like that, that, or Pennsylvania or somewhere right. like that, that made it, they had, they were a one hit wonder. Right. And right, right on the cusp of making it big, they kind of split up. Oh. And so um, uh, it's called That Thing You Do, you have to yeah, see I'll this check movie. it out. So in the video, you were talking about Kiss as an inspiration. You saw oh, Kiss. well, Joe, Joe asked me how I started playing bass. And right. uh, and the short answer was Gene Simmons of Kiss. Uh, right. When I was a little kid, I saw this guy, and he, he was spitting fire and blood. And he played guitar, but his guitar was longer, and it only had four strings. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's that? 
So that's how that's actually how I got into playing bass. And then I got I got a, an, a, an electric bass from a neighbor when I was 12 years old, and a little amplifier. And um, as soon as I could play the first three notes to "Smoke on the Water," man, right. eh, 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 it was all over. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some bands that you listen to that people wouldn't expect that you do? Because you have a rock and roll metal sound. Um, what are some of the things you listen to that people probably wouldn't think that you do? Because you've got like this this look of this, you know, hardcore metal guy, you know, with the well, I'm a real, I'm a real, I'm a real, I'm a real big jazz guy. Right. Okay. Um, I love jazz. I'm a bass player. So, uh, right. all the world of jazz bass players is freaking huge. Right. And so, and they're all, they're all wonderful. So, um, have you ever had the desire to play in a jazz band? And like, do you know how to play like a stand up bass or anything like that? Or I, I did play stand up bass, uh, traditional bass years ago for, for like a year. And uh -huh. then, uh, but then, but then once, once you get rock and roll in your blood, man, that big, yeah. that big bass goes right out the window. <laughs> plus, plus it's really hard to pick up chicks with that big bass, you know, it's like, hey. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let, oh, okay. So my, my electric, like my electric bass, my electric bass has gotten me way more poontang than that big stand up bass. I'll say that. <laughs> Okay, so you're you uh, from watching the other video. You're from New York, right? And um, I are. You're from a small town, a big town. Uh, uh, I, I'm 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 from uh, I'm from a uh, an island that's really long. <laughs> okay, well, you don't have that strong of an accent, so. Hey, first first of all, first of all, let's get something cleared up. I don't have the accent you do, so let's get that out of the way. Right now. <laughs> Okay. Like totally. Well, I'm trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> but you did move over to that area when you said you were what, 18ish, uh, 20ish. When I was 18, I got on an airplane, literally with my get to my bat, my base, and a, and a little bag of clothes, and I flew to LA. I didn't know a soul. Right. And uh, I got I got off the plane. I was in LAX, and I got a ride uh, to Hollywood from mm -hmm. some guy that was uh, at the airport, and. Uh, and I literally, I got dropped off on a corner in Hollywood. I don't even remember where. And uh, I wound up going down. There was a there was a pool hall downstairs mm -hmm. be below ground. And I went down there and I met some other long haired guy and he played guitar and he put me up in his pad for about a month and I got a job. Excellent. And, uh, and, and there I was. Then the next thing I know, I got my own place and, uh, and I started playing with people and started getting, uh, my name you know cir circulating around a little bit and getting known and starting to hang out with people and uh you know once once i got my claws dug in a little man it was on and crack and then i st then i played all over hollywood and la the whole la area really from uh orange county all the way up to northern los angeles san fernando valley simi valley um, what was the first band that you were in in, in uh, los angeles i mean so as a young jd you 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 have this dream you go to hollywood you I, I mean, at meeting some dude and having him put you up, I think that's pretty good luck. Cons I mean, you know, you've heard, you've heard some stories about, you know, specifically women wanting to go to Hollywood, being a star, and, you know, this, it eats them the up. The tragic dream, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the tragic dream. Right, but, you right. know, it sounds like it worked out okay for you. You're still in one piece, right? <laughs> Uh, well, for the most part, yeah. Um, so, so th that 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 is kind of I did I did luck out in that respect, but I didn't know it then either. And if it went bad, I wouldn't have realized it. Yeah. Well, I guess I would have realized that quickly. But uh, it took it took many years to um, to be able to look back at that and realize, wow, you know, I, I landed, I came out here, didn't know a soul, and landed mm -hmm. on my feet and um, and did okay. Woo! Glad that yeah, went really. okay. <laughs> Well, that was a different scene then, you know. Um, I oh, was, my God. Yeah, I, I missed that young. scene. Now. I was probably in junior high, and I was in Burbank. So I was just about, what, like 15, 20 minutes away. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, different scene completely. But I remember, like, the metal scene was pretty big. And, um, you know, all the girls that I knew, like, in this certain group were just, like, had the big crushes on you know, all the metal bands at the time, LA Guns or whatever it was, you know, at that Crazy, time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so how is the scene different then than it is now as far as like metal is concerned? I mean, Are you asking me? 
Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> well, the hair, the hair and the clothing is yeah. the first immediate thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also this, this also the, the music. The music's evolved. Right. The music's changed and evolved. And um, and um, I find myself now, it's kind of funny because when I was young, what I was into was the shit, right? And, and if anybody else didn't like it, I thought they were retarded. And now I can listen to some of this new stuff, this fast, loud, aggressive right. stuff. And I think to myself, what the bloody, what are you listening to it? And they love it. These kids are really into it. So um, my, I'm all for it, man. Um, if the kids dig it, that's a sign that it's good. So uh, um, because I was once a kid. And so that's, that's my, that's my judge is, is that kid liking it? Then it's good enough for me. So um, well, I know I, 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 the, the, the direction of music has changed. It's grown. Like I said, it's changed. It's altered. It's evolved. And so um, it has to keep evolving. Otherwise, if it gets stagnant, then it dies. So um, uh, I, I like it. And I also like the fact that, um, you know, I think I was born personally, I think I was born as a musician. I think I was born at just the right time because I grew up with the Beatles and the Stones and, and Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix and Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. And Elton John and Leonard Skinner and Barry Manilow and Debbie Gibson and um, and Slayer and Venom and Exodus and, and, and so and yeah, so I now have that, I have the Electric Youth perfume from Debbie Gibson, by the way. Ah, awesome! And ABBA, I loved ABBA too, you know, <laughs> and, and Chris Christopherson and so. But but I got to see. I think again, I think I was born at just the right time being a musician because I got to see uh, and also Elvis and Chuck Berry and 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 and. and and the, the beginning of rock and roll, you know, and Johnny Cash, and um, up to what it is now. And boy, I, I, I wouldn't have, if, if you, if I, if somebody put a magic box in my hand with a button that allowed me to go back in time and land any, live anywhere, I wouldn't change, I'd leave the button alone. I wouldn't put, push right. it because I wouldn't want to change a thing musically. Not, the, I, not from my seat, not from how I view it, no way. So okay. uh, what's your favorite rockumentary? Or yeah, let's let's start with a rockumentary, and then we'll we'll pick your favorite musical movie. What's your favorite rockumentary? Is it like Tommy rock, the? Yeah. Rockumentary would probably be Tommy the Who. Tommy the Who, yeah. Okay. And then your favorite movie about music, like uh, like your favorite musical movie. It could be anything. It could be like Guys and Dolls, you know, or or like West Side oh. Story or whatever. Whatever. Like, what did you see? when you were a kid that was really like inspired you as a kid? <laughs> well, I had a name, what, what inspired me, um, what, what, what got me into bass was Gene Simmons' A Kiss, but what, then what got me into playing in a band was my neighbor had a big, a, a big band in, in Long Island where I'm from, Swift Kick, this guy Johnny Pichotta, he was the singer. Johnny mm -hmm. Blaze, he goes by today. And, um, and uh, and they had they had they had bought uh, like an old UPS truck that you know they the post office sells their vehicles when they reach X amount yeah, of miles yeah. <laughs> you know at auction and so they these guys had bought this is the early 70s these guys had mm -hmm. bought a big UPS truck and painted it their own thing and put their band name on the side and I remember as a little kid walking down the street and seeing that swift kick this name on the truck and thinking <laughs> wow and then here comes all the guys out of the house with all the equipment. And they're going to play a show, and that just blew my mind. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, a, a rockumentary would be Tommy the Who. And as far as as far as what what do you, are you asking me? Like what video today, or what? Um, yeah, let's just stick with that. The other things that inspired you as a kid, with when you know, like you're saying, you saw these guys in the band, and you were just like, you know, dumbstruck by it. That'll work, I guess. <laughs> and you're you're referring to music, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh, my my neighbors, my neighbor, this the, his his band van mm -hmm. or truck that they were loading up and the the band name plastered on the side of the vehicle. Uh -huh. um, and then when I heard Jocko, do you know who Jocko Pistorius is, Stephanie? Um. No. Tell me. Jocko Pistorius. Uh, mm -hmm. he's passed away now. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Jocko Pistorius was the greatest bass player that ever lived. Okay. Um, he uh. Jocko, J-A-C-O. In fact, uh, Robert Trujillo, the bass player from Metallica, he put out a documentary called Jocko. It's all obviously right. about Jocko, and uh, I recommend you look that up. I could talk about music and all this stuff and ask you a billion questions um, for a long time, but I, I want to just kind of wrap it up. I've noticed in, in the Central Coast, 
that um, metal mingles with punk and alternative and all these shows that come together. And um, it seems like it used to be different genres doing different shows, but it seems around here that's yep. a little bit different. Why do you think that is really? Um, it's very simple. Yeah. It's very simple, and you're old enough to know this because yeah. all the fucking venues have closed, right. and we're and we're down to two fucking bars between yeah. here and San Francisco, right. and so everybody has to play together at these clubs. Right. So, what are you gonna do when you get out of quarantine? What is? What's... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get a taco from my favorite taco place right here in town. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Just the basic things, you know, that people take for granted, right? It's just these little things. I mean, look, the whole country's on lockdown right now. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of weird to, to watch. And it's really affecting us economically and, and all of us, you know. And so um, let's hope this ends quickly and we all get to go back to work and hold hands and sing Kumbaya. What do you think about the, the idea that shows are going to be canceled and... Um, for like the whole rest of the year? Like, were there any bands or festivals that you were going to that you're really looking forward to that's been canceled or? For, fortunately, no, there weren't. But right. I know a lot of them, I know a lot of them that are canceled. In fact, even Wacken, the biggest one in Germany got canceled. Yeah, oh wow. And uh, I, I know some people who were playing in bands who were playing at that event and, 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 uh, and they're now left stranded with not earning any money. Right. It's really bad. It's really bad for a lot of people. And so what you what we just said though, what you just said though is is uh, is true and messed up that they're not gonna they're talking about not having any music or sports events until twenty twenty one. So when when you're out of quarantine, your goal is to get Death by Chaos up and running and start creating. Oh, no, not when I'm out of quarantine. When my studio is done, I'm gonna right. okay. I'll, I'll then I'll then be able to have the guys come over and we'll jam. I've, right. I've not played in my studio yet. I did once uh, with a couple, a couple, actually I did twice, a couple of times, mm -hmm. but um, that was just for fun with the band and that wasn't for a full on rehearsal and to demo anything or nothing like that. Right. So, um, yeah, um, uh, we, um, we look forward to the quarantine ending as far as what we look forward to doing when it's over. Uh, nothing, nothing in particular, nothing more than I was, was not doing before it, 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 the quarantine came into existence or, or came to be. So um, I consider myself really blessed and fortunate about that. Um, with regard to Death by Chaos and my own group, um, having played in many bands, not, not just dog band, but I played in lots of bands. Now, going to school for music and building my studio and trying to get my own band going, creating a brand, mm -hmm. um, I'm really, now my focus is even more so focused on my objective which is right. in the end it, it just is to become successful and that is through my music essentially we're going to hear a little sample of uh death by chaos so what's the name of this song jd this is called ultra it's an instrumental all right let's let's turn this up a little bit <laughs>
are you are you working on new stuff or new songs right now? Besides about, building a studio, or are you waiting to what, just what have I, your like did, complete I, lineup here to to do that? Or yeah, I have I have a bunch I have a bunch of songs already written. You know, I have some songs here on my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. These are only on the YouTube because they were videoed. But then I have other songs where I just add the audio to them. So there's nothing to right. post. There's no video to post. But uh, I, yeah, I have I have probably five albums worth of songs now, and then probably five more albums worth of songs that need to get finished and then put put down on on record and recorded. Right. So um, once the once the studio's done and we 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 find the right drummer and the right guitar player, yeah, that's it man, it's on and cracking. Wonderful. Well. And Thank since you. you use, and since you use again the QSC like you do, yeah. you know how good that shit sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm no, I'm no dummy. I know why you use it. It's because it sounds so effing good. So, right. when my studio's done, I'm gonna have you come over, and when you see these four QSC K12s, one in each corner, aimed right down at the middle of the room, you're gonna be like, oh yeah. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to coming over and interviewing Death by Chaos when you've got. The, everyone ready hey that would be great that would be great if we could do that yeah, yeah if we could do that here at the studio yeah it sounds wonderful well thank you so much for taking all this time to listen to me babble and ask you all these questions and i really i'll oh, quit it this was <laughs> this was awesome stephanie yeah. thank you no yeah no come on this was awesome I, I had i had a blast thank you thank you all right you take care and i look forward to seeing you and giving you a hug out of quarantine right <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, sweetheart. Tell Jeff I said hey. I will. All right. Bye. All right, honey. We'll talk again soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>